Here's a demo of my most recent additions to the Therapsid open source firmware. First some highlights and then the details. There is now full support for ARM SID chips. This includes configuration on the fly, as well as unlocking the third chip of the ARM2 SID, allowing for up to 9 voices of SID polyphony over MIDI. The ACID protocol and remix functionality has been extended a lot, and specifically for those with the Turbo MIDI interface, where it now supports stereo or triple SIDs, as well as multi-speed files. ACID on ARM2 SID will also enable its additional FM chip, the YM3812, also called OPL2. This allows for playback as well as a remix of SID plus FM files using 9 FM voices in addition to the 3 SID voices, like the one playing right now. So let's start there, demoing some new ACID features. Alright, in the SID plus FM song, the three SID voices are located on the first chip. Active waveforms are indicated by the LEDs on the left hand side. By turning these knobs, a lot of SID parameters can be modified. For more information on how they work, you can go and watch an earlier video of mine going through the original feature set. The nine FM channels are located on the second chip. And by holding the loop button on this side, we can enable visualization and remixing of that certain chip. So we now see the 9 FM channels flashing. Channel 1 is here, and then it goes to 9 here. To mute one of the channels, just press the button. As a side note, the OPL2 actually has an 11 voice mode as well, with 6 melody sounds and 5 drum sounds. That mode is also implemented, but I haven't found any song yet using it, so I couldn't test it. Anyway, the OPL2 has two operators on each channel, and the volumes of these can be controlled. On the left-hand side, we have operator 1 volume, with the first channel here, and the last one here. Similarly placed like the mute buttons. And on the right-hand side, we have the same setup, but for operator 2. In most songs, the channels are configured as two operator FM, meaning we would have the modulator on this side and carrier on that side. Another important piece of FM is the operator feedback for each channel. And these are available here, with channel 1 over there, and up to 9 there. Since it can be a bit tricky to always press the shift button while tweaking, there is now a hold mode for the selected chip by using the preset button up or down. So let's select the second chip, which is the OPL2. We can now use both hands. The final new feature of the ACID Remix capabilities is a solo function, handled by the N3 button. And by holding it, we would solo only that channel or voice. We can even solo a whole chip, like this. The remix functionality works just as well if you're using a regular SID file where the first chip will be duplicated to the second, or using the new functionality included in this release, where there's support for dual, or so called stereo, SID files, but even triple SID files. The support for triple SIDs would require an ARM2 SID and a little cable patch, which looks like this. However, since the bandwidth of multi-SID or multi-speed files normally exceeds the regular MIDI rate, it's required to use the Electron TM1 Turbo MIDI interface, which is now also supported. This extends the MIDI speed up to 8 times the regular speed. Pressing the Turbo button on the interface enables it. The songs you're hearing are played back using the fantastic browser-based DeepSID and I have extended my ACID implementation in that one to handle all of these new file types. Since this release focuses on ARM SID features, let's go into some more things we can do with it. The ARM SID or ARM2 SID are chips which can emulate different SID types and filter characteristics. To configure such a chip, you normally would use a Commodore 64 to run an application to flash new settings. But in this TheraPSID firmware, it can be done while the chips are in the machine and even while the song is playing. 
I extended the Twisted Electrons browser based settings tool with all of the options of the arm set for the two slots. Here I'm playing a song and changing the settings. These settings are then always retrieved when the unit starts up and available in the regular synth mode. And speaking of the synth mode, with an ARM2 SID and the small hardware cable patch I mentioned, it's now possible to extend the previous 6 voice SID polyphony to 9 voices of SID, like this. There's also a few other things added, some bug fixes, but also an improved detune mode. I will release this firmware and deep sit changes publicly as soon as it gets through some testing and approvals. That's all for this time, thanks for watching.